Hickok 45 here, giving you a close-up look at the Bushmaster XM15, actually, the model E2S. This is kind of the, uh, the M4 uh, civilian version, we, we tend to call it, but it is an XM15. And uh, many of us have these, uh, these rifles these days in some configuration. I know we all like to see them uh, up close, uh, I guess especially the people who maybe don't have one but are thinking about one or can't wait till they get old enough to get one. But beautiful guns, uh, very functional, work very well. This uh, happens to be one that has the, the fixed handle, it's kind of old school, I guess. It has a collapsible stock and uh, works very well. You've seen it in other videos. Takes the, the detachable magazine, of course. This is a 30 round magazine that's in it. And we have some, some nice, uh, those are two, two threes in there. I think they're not uh, exactly 5.56 rounds and we're clear. But uh, this is uh, the, the shorty version, pretty much 16 inch barrel of the uh, AR-15 Bushmaster, as I said. For those who maybe are not familiar, you have a dust cover there with the gun. Uh, magazine release right there that button if uh, kind of new to these that releases the magazine uh, brass uh, deflector forward assist on the bolt uh, side adjustment on the other side we have uh, safety safe and fire okay bolt lock bolt release there you can pull the bolt back you know, lock it back and when you push that button, it releases it. I don't like to let it fall on an empty chamber, but uh, that's how that works. And you see the little Bushmaster logo, that cute little snake there. Don't you love it? So, uh, and then your, uh, your sights. Uh, these are, in a lot of ways, they're like a Glock. You know, there's, uh, there's nothing all that sexy about them or attractive in some ways, but they function well, and that in itself uh, counts for a lot. 16 inch barrels, I said and uh, very simple to break down just push this pin right here pull it out on the other side she comes right apart and you can take the carrier and the bolt out and i think you can see there in the sunlight see that uh, bolt it's a little dirty we've been firing it some and it's uh, going to need to be clean today because we have been firing it so it's not exactly uh, spick and span i see some carbon buildup on the gas tube up there and I'm not going to take the bolt out but uh, that's how that fits together put it back together lock it back and it's ready to go nice thing about these guns is you're able to you know take them apart so easily I pull that bolt and carrier out and I can clean from the rear just so simply I have access to my uh, chamber and to uh, the bore from uh, the chamber side chamber in and that's always good and very very uh, nice access there for cleaning working on the gun uh, put the magazine in and it clicks in the rate of fire if I put a round in the chamber which let's go ahead and do that and just take a couple shots now in the close-up videos we don't do a lot of shooting we just like to give you some close-ups you know of the firearm and uh, and then take a couple of shots something really close here and I just happened to see a couple of uh, well there what is that mountain lightning okay let's just see if we'll let's see if the round will go through those bottles over there let's put the sight back or the stock back take a couple of shots now I'm not a long-range shot shooter so I don't know if I can hit anything that far away <laughs> Uh, let's try the other one. Boom. Oh, and there's an empty ballastol can there too. Now he has nothing in him. So I have a feeling what's going to happen here. Yep, that was my feeling. Nothing. You think I missed, don't you? I did not. I'm going to shoot him again. And again. This little bullet is actually so fast, we might get a close-up on that can. There should be some holes in that can, some little 22 caliber holes from this bullet. Uh, it's moving so fast that it passes through that can. And that can is not a Coke can. It's got a little substance to it. But uh, 
it's, it just passes through so fast. It's kind of like throwing a BB through a sheet of paper. If you throw it fast enough, it doesn't even move the paper. Let's see if I can hit the top of it. Maybe it'll... Uh... There we go. <laughs> it almost moved at that time. So uh, a little lesson in physics there. That's just what happens when something's moving very, very fast, as in over 3,000 feet per second. So nice round. Let's fire the last round. So now we're empty. And the gun is clear. And that is one sweet rifle. I hope you got a good look at it there in the close-ups. So uh, signing off, Hickok 45 with his uh, XM15 Bushmaster. Hope you got a good look at it. And we'll see y'all on the trail at some other time.